Is Chengdu a city of food or a city of foodies? Eating is one of the most cohesive activities around the world. But nowhere is that truer than in Chengdu, China. Chengdu would no doubt be the only city where you can find with this much incredible food and this many crazy foodies. If you've been to any of the famous restaurants here, you've certainly heard the word bus many times. Bus is the best. Bus is the best. This is the most prominent personality of the people living here. And this is why Chengdu people seem to be able to tolerate everything about you. Whether you go for spicy or non-spicy hot pot, whether you are Chinese or a foreigner. It may be hard for you to imagine that a British girl swore to try all the delicacies of China within a year, but it was still hanging around in Chengdu three years later. Actually, it was three years, and then another three years, and still a few more three years when Fu Xia finished yet another redefinition of Sichuan cuisine. Is Chengdu a city of food? Perhaps, when the flavor of the Sichuan paper exploded on the tongue of this British girl, something inside her was changed forever. Combining all kinds of Chinese and Western styles, Chengdu is a place with densely distributed global delicacies. It is a battle for any chef to secure a place in this city. In the eyes of Andrew Chum, who worked as a chef in Singapore for many years, dishes are not only for eating, but are also expressions of the chef's heart and aesthetics. You are good? Yeah. Do you think this looks like Sichuan cuisine? Okay. Um, no matter what it looks like, as long as the soul is still there. Chengdu people can have Sichuan cuisine presented in a million different ways. Here you will discover all kinds of possibilities about eating that cannot be found elsewhere. Is Chengdu a city of foodies? Perhaps, when this French cuisine chef goes onto the bridge, eating becomes something more. This is one of the most rapidly developing cities in China. Yet, hidden in the streets and alleys here, there remain countless precious gems of authentic and so forth food culture. This Canadian Jordan spends most of his time taking foodies who come from all over the world to hunt for and find the soul of Sichuan. I know a great beef restaurant on Bao Jia Xiang, a great bulgogi on Wang Ping Jie, there's really good chao shou on Ji Xiang Jie, Tang Yong Guo Zi, you want to go to Tong Ren Lu. There's some great hot pot restaurants at Xi'an Bei Lu. When you have meat dumplings in spicy sauce on Jishan Street, sweet and spicy noodles on Wen Shuyan Street, crusty pancakes filled with bean jelly at Wen Shuyan Metro Entry, pickles and pepper at Grocery Market, exactly what's happening. <laughs> at Marketplace Sichuan Cuisine at Wai Cao Jiaxiang, you will find that all the bustling scenes and enjoyable bites of food are the secret power that nourishes the personality of Chengdu people. Eating is the fastest and simplest way of understanding Chengdu. Here you can taste both traditional and modern flavors with a bowl of noodles, and experience both Oriental and Western styles in one dish. Every taste bud will find its perfect balance in the atmosphere of this city. Is Chengdu a city of foodies? Is Chengdu a city of food? We'll let you find out yourself. <laughs>